Hi friends, this is Bija Baker. I'm Maria. Today I'm going to make a quick video and I have to laugh when I say that because <laughs> I said that on another video and I've had people comment like, I thought you said this was a quick video. 20 minutes later, it's still rolling. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But this one's quick. I, not even I can stretch this one out. Challenge accepted. No, I'm joking. Okay, I'm going to make chai. Chai powder. This is one of the most hidden treasures in cooking and baking. It's just spices. Um, six different spices. And the combination of them just does so many amazing things to savory and sweet dishes. You can put this in a cake, you can put this in cookies, you can put this in a stew. Weird, right? But the, the spices are fantastic together. Yes, you can make chai tea. Um, I'm actually going to be making, not, not in this video, but in another video, I'm going to make pistachio uh, macarons with a chai buttercream filling. Oh my gosh. So here, I'm telling you guys, it's quick and easy. And I swear, I really, really recommend you try this. Even if you cut it in half and, and try a little bit because it might be too intimidating. I'm using all powders for this recipe because I don't, I want it to be easy enough for you to, to say, okay, I'll, I'll try it. When I'm making my bigger batches, I'll take the cinnamon, I'll toast them, I'll ground them. I'll take the cardamom pods, I'll toast them, I'll ground them. I'll take everything I can that's whole, toast it to pull out more flavor, and then I grind it. And in the end, I'm, I've got ground powders just like this. So. Okay, so this is this is what we're working with. You're gonna. I have mine just in a um, a jar because that's where it's gonna. I'm gonna keep it. So I've got a quarter of a cup of of ginger, one quarter of a cup of cinnamon plus two tablespoons. So about six tablespoons. There's four quarter. There's four teaspoons. <laughs> Let me do this again. In a quarter of a cup of anything, there's four tablespoons. So this is six tablespoons or a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons. Two teaspoons of clove, two teaspoons of black pepper, uh, what do I got? A quarter cup of cardamom and two teaspoons of nutmeg. And they just go in. If you are um, into aromatics like I am, you're going to really love this. And I'll tell you, even if you uh, make a tea with this, you've got some great, great spices. That's it. That's it. That is done. <laughs> Now, the longer this sits and the longer they marry together, the more powerful and intense the flavors are. Can you smell? Go like that. Oh my gosh. I told you, not even I can stretch this one out. So um, I have a, a pool slash spa day. I'm going over with uh, Beauty and the Stamper, my niece. If you don't know her, she's, she's all over YouTube. Um, so she's having some friends over and we're going to have a spa day and then just hang out in the pool. And so, of course, I've got to take dessert. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I, I didn't have this with me. So one of the things I like to do is I like to bake cakes ahead of time. I get them really, really wrapped. I wrap them really, really airtight. And then I wrap them again in a Ziploc bag, squeezing all the air out. And then I freeze them. They never last long. But... On a case like today, I've got carrot cake that it's already done and ready to go. I'm going to make some um, cream cheese icing with, oh, I don't know, some chai powder and, um, and take it. And it's just going to be the carrot cake icing, carrot cake icing. I'm not going to decorate it. I'm not going to really fancy it up or anything like that. You can, but sometimes simple is just the best. So I'm going to get on that. And, and oh, okay, so how you make the chai buttercream. In the link below, there's... Um, 
a recipe for my my buttercream icing okay just take a tablespoon of this and put it in that that's it you take a tablespoon of this and put it in your cookies or in your stews or whatever you you like more than put more you don't want so much don't put so much that's a great thing about your kitchen your rules you do what you like and you do what your family likes and so guess what I did extend the video <laughs> okay all right my friends until next time happy baking ah oh, that was fun don't forget to like and subscribe